There's a lot of speculation that this new model that is trending on open router, Cypher Alpha, could be OpenAI's open source model. We have an open source model coming out soon. I think people are going to be, yeah. I don't want to like steal the team's glory and pre-announce this, but I think you all will be astonished. I think it will be like much better than you're hoping for. And the ability to like use it to run incredibly powerful models locally is going to like really, really surprise people on what's possible. We currently do not know anything about OpenAI's open source model, but OpenAI is known for notoriously testing out their models on Open Router, which is a platform that provides models as an API endpoint. So OpenAI's latest or could be supposedly a uh, speculatively latest open source model could be the top model on Open Router. So Open Router shows all the models that are trending and Cypher Alpha, which is currently free, is the top model. So if you click Cypher Alpha, you would notice that all prompts and completions for this model are logged by the provider who is the creator of the model may be used to improve the model and other product services. So this is the only information we have got. And there are some other information about the model parameters. But this rumor has been speculated by a lot of people, including Jeremy Clark here. Cypher Alpha has a similar worldview as GPT 4.1 Nano. Most LLMs say Apollo moon landing, the Apollo moon landing. Speed, context window size, intelligence are also comparable. My money is on OpenAI's updated Nano with better thinking, tool usage, and are also open sourcing it. It might be the best model to run on an 8 GB RAM computer phone, if so. So we currently do not know about it, but you can see the screenshot example here. So this is GPT 4.1 Nano, and this is Cypher Alpha Free. So it says, I do not have any personal preference, but then it gives the information here. So this probably, probably because OpenAI has been slightly hyping up their open source initiative, which means there is an open weight. I'm not sure the, about the license, but there is an open weight model that is going to come soon. There have been like a couple of community members who went on call with OpenAI to give their feedback or just discuss about it. So this might be that model. We do not know, but this model is being served currently by the top LLM based AI uh, core editors. Rue code Klein, uh, in fact, Klein made a comment saying the new stealth free model from open router. This is currently available. Cyber Alpha features 1 million token context window and a maximum output of 10,000 tokens. So if this happens to be the open source model from OpenAI, I think that'll be pretty awesome because 10,000 context window output, just output is quite amazing. And the last stealth model from open router was GPT 4.1. So everybody's been speculating the same thing, given that the last model from uh, open router was GPT 4.1. 4.1. And if you were to use the model, it's pretty simple. You go to openrouter.ai, you just have to sign up. You don't have to add any credit card or anything at all. Once you log in, all you have to do is click chat here and uh, that will ideally, you know, take you to the place where uh, you can chat with the model. There are a bunch of questions that are already available. Like for example, the strawberry test 9.9 .9 versus 9.11, or I should say 9.11. And you can, you can just go ahead and then ask any question that you feel. So Jeff has two brothers. Each of his brothers has three sisters. Each of the sisters has four step brothers. Each of the step brothers have, has a, a five step sisters. How many siblings are there in this family? Send this to the model. And then you can see the model has started processing and it is starting to process and give you the answer. So the final tally says total siblings in the family, three brothers, three sisters, one step brother, three step sisters, totally 10. And as you can see here, it can also output latex. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is the right answer. I'm going to let you decide if this is the right answer. The next one I'm going to ask is go to the new room, paste this question. And instead of using the same name, Sally, I'm going to just use an Indian name. Ramya, a girl, has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. How many sisters does Ramya have? So ideally, Ramya has only one sister because Ramya is the other sister. So Ramya has one sister. Ramya has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters, one of whom is Ramya. Therefore, there is only one additional sister, which is pretty good for this model. 
I'm going to now ask you to create a manim code. Give me a simple manim code that adds an intro saying, welcome to one little coder with some bouncing balls in the next scene. Let's see if it can give the manim code. I'm going to fire up my Visual Studio code and keep that ready. So I've got this here. The manum code is generated. It's pretty fast to be honest. Just for comparison, I'm going to ask the same question, like literally the same question to another open source model that is from Google at this particular point, Gemma 3N. I am going to wait for this and uh, take this response. I mean, off, uh, like right out of the box, it looks like uh, definitely the cyber alpha is quite fast. And it's created a code here. In this case, Gemma has created a code for me. Go back. Erase everything, paste it and wait. Okay, so again, run neurons are not defined. I'm going to go run this with a slightly bigger model. I'm going to go run this with Gemma 3. Okay, it's a slightly bigger model. And I'm going to paste the same question again, just to be very sure that if there is any uh, open source model that can easily run this for us. So it's finished the code here. I'm going to just copy the code. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to wait to run. Okay, it ran, but again, one particular name is not defined. Finally, I'm going to fire up my LM Studio and I'm going to ask the same question. So we have asked at this point, different open models, open weight model, and this is another open weight model, as you can see. I'm successfully running this on my local computer and I want to see if this can ideally run this code. So this is a model called open hands, it's like it doesn't even have the scene. Okay, from Manim, I should have said Manim. Welcome scene, let's run to the welcome scene. Okay, it's okay, cool. It's rendered something for me. Okay, so we have got this, which is welcome scene. Welcome to one little code. Okay, cool, not bad, not bad. I've got the ball animation scene. It's running this. So it turns out that if this is an open model from OpenAI, I'm not sure how good this model is going to be with coding, but even Gemma couldn't solve this problem and some random open model, which, you know, not a lot of people talk about these days, which is from all hands, open hands, a 7 billion parameter model managed to solve this for me. One, this video is about Cypher Alpha, but it is also fascinating to see a 7 billion parameter model, quantized version that I can run locally, managed to run this. I mean, with little tweaks rather than any other open model from a very big, large research lab. So it's pretty fascinating to see this and I'm waiting to see what this model is. If you think this is OpenAI's GPT 4.1's nano version open source, let me know what you feel about it or let me know in the first place if you are excited about OpenAI's open source model. I mean, of course, they've got open in their name. So what do you think about it? See you in another video. Happy prompting.